Flapper girls partied and the stock market crashed. Today we're talking about Art Deco jewelry. The Art Deco period is the time between 1920 and 1939. Art Deco is all about straight lines, sharp corners, and cubism. World War I resulted in much simpler clothing for women out of necessity. Hemlines were much shorter, sleeves were short or non-existent, hair got cut a lot shorter, and after World War I, women did not want to go back to wearing their corsets. The style stayed, and it required a different type of jewelry. This period was all about women's freedom. Not only were they able to move more freely in their clothes, they had a lot more freedom in their lives. They danced at cocktail parties, they smoked cigarettes, they drank in public, they cut their hair short, they played tennis and golf, they drove cars, and all of this affected the jewelry that they wanted to wear. In addition to being able to form platinum better, like we did in the Edwardian period, the ability to cut stones really took off during this time. And stones were cut in interesting shapes, in trapezoids, triangles, half moons, all different kinds of shapes. And so they were able to create jewelry around interesting shaped stones. And one of the things that you see a lot are linear bracelets where stones are intricately cut and pieced together. There doesn't need to be as much metal between the stones, and it's, it's all about the stones in the bracelets and the rings. And they did use diamonds like in the Edwardian period before, but they did use other stones, colored stones. They used a lot of rubies, a lot of sapphires and emeralds along with other colored stones. There were a lot of the same type of motifs, the bows, the garlands and the Egyptian motifs, but they were just reinterpreted. Everything was more angular, it was more rigid and it was more linear. Art Deco jewelry is a style that, that continues to be made today. You'll hear people saying it's in the Art Deco style. And the reason for that is this was very, very wearable jewelry. Pieces even that were big, they were linear, They're, they don't feel as fussy and formal. So they can be worn in everyday wear, even when you're wearing a lot of uh, colorful stones and diamonds. The look is very smooth and very polished. And for that reason, Art Deco jewelry is highly collected today, especially the precision cut linear bracelets and the rings. In fact, a lot of wedding rings today are still styled in the Art Deco style. And people do buy Art Deco rings to wear as everyday rings and to wear as wedding rings. Another really amazing innovation during this time that created beautiful jewelry was called mystery setting or invisible setting. And this was a way of setting stones that made the entire piece of jewelry appear to just be stone. You couldn't see the metal at all, barely at all. So you could have a flower or a bouquet of flowers or a feather form that appeared to be all stone. That style is not made today very often, but it is highly, highly collectible from the Art Deco period. So that's the Art Deco period. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think of the Art Deco period? And be sure to subscribe so that we can see each other again. Until next time.